Got a request from Grayson. He wanted me to do Sarah Phillips from Liberty Kids. Anyways, let's get started. So we're gonna start off with its head. As I always do, it's going to be a circle. I know this doesn't look like a circle right now, but we're gonna start with a circle, okay? Now we're gonna do her jawline. So coming off of the circle, I want you guys to do a line down. Do you see how it just came down like that? And then we're gonna make it come up. To the circle so it's going down and up and then right here on the side of this circle we want to go in and out this is going to be where her cheekbones are so we can erase our circle down there and then right here we're going to have a piece of the ear so you can erase and nail that ear okay so she's looking our way but we're gonna be putting in the headline. Okay, so right on this line, we're gonna be putting her eyes. So on this side, it just goes up. This side goes up higher. Then she has her lash line. It's kind of like a hill. You see how it's like a hill? And then just across on the bottom, okay? Inside, you're gonna do part of the circle. She has a big shiny here, and then the pupil, okay? So now we're gonna do the one on this side. Goes up, and then Here's her eye, come down, and then this is her eyeball. You're only seeing a little piece of her eyeball, but we can have a little bit in there, okay? And above here is her eyebrows, okay? On that line here, we're gonna be putting a little button nose, and she's got a smile, okay? So now, erase this T-bar. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so for the nose, it's just a little piece of the nose around the jelly bean and then just a piece of her, um, part of her nose right there, okay? And her lips, it has a little cute smirk line and then she's got her bottom lip and then her top lip is just going to be a bit smaller, okay? There she is. And she's got an amazing neck, so it's just going to come down. awesome neckline okay for the hair um, so we have her eyebrow right here above her eyebrow make a little mark right about there and this is where her little uh, archway is gonna be so she has one part and then this part's gonna come up okay so you can erase in there because we're gonna be making the hair we have this little lump, this lump, and this one's gonna be going back. So it's gonna be going back into her head, and then we're gonna be make this go back. And then this, so it's a parallel line. So we've got the archway, line back, line back. This one's gonna end, and this one's going to have a lump in it and come down, okay? So you're going to erase the rest of that in there, and then now you can put in some lines in here. And then on the front here, it's gonna go down to a cute curl and then connect to the head. All right, so now we're gonna put her ponytail in. So it's going to be, that's like a, her scrunchy ponytail and her hair's gonna come out and it's gonna have a cute little loop in it. We won't do any more because we wanna do the body. Okay, so how I do bodies, I'm just gonna show you the base of the body. Just so you can see, okay, this, is like her torso and then she's got this gorgeous dress that's just going to come right off of that torso okay in the bottom you can do a scalloped edge all right so let's do her little neckline it is very popular back then to have a square neckline that's called a square neckline and we're going to be paralleling it it's going to have a double square and then she's got a necklace which is going to be like a half circle with a circle on it for her necklace. And then now we're into her arms. So let's just pretend there's an oval right here. That's one part of the arm. And then we've got another oval right here. She's got skinny little arms and it's gonna come down to her hands. This one, the great thing is we're just seeing a part of it. So we have part of an oval and a part of an oval. Okay, so now let's finish putting her clothes on so you can erase 
Actually, let's put the clothes on first. So we're gonna go right over her arm. And her her dress, it's like a kind of like a bell. See how it kind of bells out right here? Looks like a bell. So now we can erase inside. Zoom in over. Super job. And then she has just a little like bloop. So it looks like there's like a sleeve there. If you want, you can make this come out just a touch more. That's what I would do. And then for this side of the arm, it's just gonna come down, but we're gonna put a bell. See how it kind of flings out a little bit right there. And then put the arm down. Okay, so for her hand here, so it's coming out of the dress, we're gonna put in a thumb. And then she's got her hand is just gonna go like this erase all inside there and then we'll put fingers in so put a couple of fingers in there okay all right so for the dress coming out of here actually I'm gonna make it more come this way there we go better for me okay so we have it's gonna come straight down and it's gonna come down but it's gonna touch the side and then right here in the middle There we go and put a couple of lines coming down and then at the bottom you're gonna parallel that part of the dress oh and now we can do the finish off her hair so her hair is gonna come behind her and it has like a cute curl in there okay so let us baby sharpie this is the little cute baby So what I want you to do with the Sharpie is to go a little bit over her eyelashes to make her a bit thicker, to make it look more feminine. And also this is gonna be Sharpied in here in her sleeve. Okay, so now go around the outside with thick Sharpie. All right, take your eraser and erase. Okay, so now we're going to the color and we're taking the peach and just go all over. Oh, you know what? Look at her hair. I'm just gonna add a, another line here. All right, that looks good. All right, I don't know, I just needed that. Color all of her skin color peach. So what do we know about Sarah? Sarah is a 15 year old girl that came over from England to America. And I'm sure that was, she came with her mom and dad, I'm sure that was a hard journey to do and so when she kind of first started off in the show um she was a little haughty kind of like thinking she was better than everybody else but that soon changed so now come in here and they just go around the outside edges a little harder go inside the eyes a little harder around the eyes and around the nose around the mouth Okay, so now you're gonna take tan. Oh, forgot to sharpie this one. And make it more of a shadow by the eyes on the hairline. Okay, but after a while, she, her true colors came out. She was kind and she cared deeply for her friends. And I read that she was daring and courteous. There you go. So now you're gonna wanna take her pink and I'm putting in pink lips, a little bit maybe on the nose, her cheeks a little bit. And I'm gonna give her a little bit around the eyes. I like to do that with girls. I think it just makes them look so feminine and pretty. And just do a touch of the, this is orange red, but a little bit on top of her lips, a little bit, okay? All right, so let's do her eyes. Uh, let's pick, this is light blue. I'm gonna go down a little harder at the top, lighter at the bottom. And, oh, I forgot gray. All right, let's pretend this is gray. We're just gonna put a shadow right in there with, with gray. Under her eyes, anything else gray? Um, also with gray, this is black, I know. 
Just pretend it's gray. Just pretend. Shh. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do, ladies and gentlemen? Um, she kind of needs a chest. So I made a mistake here. I did not give her a chest. So we want to put that in there. My bad. Because she's 15 now. She's like a, a young woman. Okay, put a little shadow in here. You can go along the edge here and put a shadow in. So now I'm going to take, this is the sky blue. Let's see if this is the match. Yep. So you're just going to lightly go over her dress in the sky blue. And then you're going to press down harder on the inside here with it. Okay. So do that on all there. And then, of course, on her cuffs. And then around her neckline. And oh, give a little bit on her scrunchie. I'm sure they were not called scrunchies back then. This is the, I just have yellow orange. I'm gonna color all of her hair yellow orange and then I'm gonna come in with the orange red and give it the other color. some gorgeous hair she's got there and then now you can take the red orange and we can go under her hairline under here so it looks like a shadow under there you can go along the edge here go along the edge here and then lighten it out so as I'm doing I'm just gonna fade it into that orange by lightly doing it you want to go behind the ear and the head you want to press down really hard because that's where the shadow is and the same with along the dress, push down hard and then make it feather out lighter. So you can have like darks and lights. So you kind of look like a professional. Okay. All right. So I think you guys can finish the rest and hope you guys have an amazing day. See ya.